so much to those of you that watched my first video, asked a question, shared your excitement. It's so much fun connecting with you and I can't wait to go deeper as we dive into this knit along experience. I am ecstatic to kick things off. So for those of you that have not watched that video, I wanna encourage you to do so. I'll link to it below. It has the overview of the knit along and what's in store. This video is really gonna be about the styles and the yarn. So that's where we're going here. <laughs> I am Amy from Knit Collage, in case you did miss that video. I have been in business for 11 years, coming up on 12 in January, and I am a yarn designer and knitting teacher. This will be my 12th time hosting a knit along, and I always say they're kind of like our Super Bowl around here because we pour everything we've got into it. We have a small team. We all work like crazy on this and bring it to life twice a year. The patterns alone are such a serious labor of love. <laughs> so over the years, 3,000 plus around that number knitters have gone through this knit along and many who join season after season. Since I began running these knit alongs, so much has changed in the world, right? This global pandemic that shook all of us. In the beginning of the pandemic, the complete change to life at home helped bring us together in our knit along community. I think many of us wanted to connect virtually and we wanted to talk about the yarn and learn new things, but it was the pandemic that forced me in the knit alongs to really up how we show up and support you guys. And that meant more virtual Zoom calls so that we got to know each other, geek out about the yarn and the knitting details. And then the help sessions were born during the pandemic too. And we figured out we can actually help people with their knitting over Zoom and get them the, the help so that they can have the progress within their project. So with all that in mind, pandemic stunk, but we use that to make our experience better, foster more connection, and help you achieve better results with your projects and your knitting. So of course, now there's no going back. We, we upped it during 2020. The pandemic is still around, but waning a little bit here in the States. And we're gonna continue with all of those perks. So in the first video, I talked about how making things transforms us in countless positive ways and can have this powerful ripple effect within our lives. That it's not just about the knitting or the yarn, it's a way to become more confident and creative. Right now, when living with worry and anxiety is so common, such a part of our daily life, we could all use a little connection and beauty through these yarns and patterns. And maybe most of all, a little time out, a little self-care for the meditative act of knitting. So I am thrilled to build on what we'd offered in the past and include a bigger focus on the self-care, like what I told you about last video, finding your creative voice, and then that connection piece. So I'll be teaching you some restorative yoga, can't wait. <laughs> We're also going to have a few events with celebrity creatives. I mentioned one, Sabrina Ward, Ward Harrison, and there will be another one or two yet to be announced. I can't wait. It's all about helping you get into a flow state and free your creativity. So in that video, I also talked about how hard it can be to keep your motivation to actually finish your knitting project up. And we know that when you need help, it can be hard. How do I find the help I need when I've got a tricky stitch or a technique I don't know? Our knit-alongs are a wonderful way to get this support so that you actually finish your project, learn new things, go on to knit something even more incredible next time. And our main goal of our small yet mighty amazing team is to help you be successful and for the whole project and process to be as fun and pain-free as possible. That's what those video tutorials and help sessions are about. Are about. We wanna help you avoid ripping as much as we can. And we know that the teachable videos work. We have seen so many knitters go through this and achieve their first sweater their first in Tarja color work. And this time around it will be steaking. So it is 
It is so much fun to see knitters crush these new techniques, take their knitting to new levels, and then strut their stuff in this beautiful piece to cherish for years and years to come. So the first thing I want to do is switch to my computer screen to show you how I teach because with each knit along kit, and even if you sign up for the virtual option, you are going to get an online class on how to knit each of the main winning styles. So I'm going to show you how I teach. You are automatically enrolled in all four of them, even if you only choose one style. I'm going to show you how I teach right now. This is just an example from our spring knit along the Flower Power Cardi. And this is what the classes look like in Teachable. So you will get a Teachable class for each of the main design styles we will be knitting. And these are yours forever. You can watch these videos as many times as you like. I go through each style in very bite-sized chunks so you can see your patterns and your bonus patterns are all located in this first section. Then we go to week one and it's going to be just an intro to the pattern. I talk about gauge. So you've got um, all these videos here for you. I try to keep them pretty short. Some of them are longer um, if the style's more difficult or the technique's more difficult around 10 minutes, but some of them are, are really short, just two or three minutes if it's a very simple technique. So me in a funny face talking about the flower power and the pattern details. We have a video over here on fit can help you choose the right size. I usually talk about the yarn and how to read a pattern in one video. So this is what these videos look like from um, the hand perspective. You'll see my hands, most of these videos, not me. We can go in here. This is um, how to cast on. So a lot of you might know this, but this is what my videos look like. And this is, I think this is long tail cast on for this sweater. As many times as you want to watch these, you absolutely can. <laughs> so that's that. Um, and then week two, and I do I break these up by the schedule I've set forth. So week one is um, for this sweater was just casting on and prepping your yarn, choosing your size. Um, and then week two is starting your left sleeve knitting. So each style will be different and it's completely achievable. Of course, if you want to race ahead, by all means, if you want to take it more slowly, that's great. We are here for you to support you, whatever your speed is, and these videos will be there for you. So you can see Flower Power, I think it was over 25 videos in total. Um, so there's a lot of videos per style that you get with, um, with the whole knit along experience. So that is how I teach. Okay, so let's talk about the yarn because the yarn is very, very special. I began this company 11 years ago, like I mentioned, by training a small group of women in India how to spin our yarns. It started out really small. We now have a team of 13 ladies, many who have been with us since the very beginning, that spin our yarn. So I'm going to show you some photos of them now. This is from my last trip in February. 2020 so you'll see them and me without masks keep in mind that's not what it looks like now so here is how the process works the yarns are first the fiber is first put into bundles little recipes and then card it so we put it through this hand carding machine and this is where we paint with the fibers so you get to combine all the different colors together. I think of it as kind of like mixing your paint if you were an artist, but if you're a fiber artist, you do this with the carding step. And the next step is the spinning. So we have spinners who spin all of these yarns and take that carded fiber and they will actually spin them together with all these little trims and trinkets. So you will see things like little flowers, pieces of fabric, lace, um, sparkle, thread, all sorts of different ingredients. And one lady's job, actually a few, is just to actually make those little bundles of trims that go into each yarn. So you'll see those in our Dreamland yarn in the upcoming portion of the video. But it's really, really fun to see it all happen because you can really tell it's a 
it's a stop and go process. It takes a long time to spin one skein of yarn because it's stop, go, add a trim, stop, go again, then add another trim and go again. Finally, the yarns are steam pressed or washed, depending on what kind of yarn it is. And then we check them for quality control, we add a label, and then we package them up to come to us in our warehouse. So that is how our yarns are made. So some of you may be wondering how has the pandemic affected these ladies, these artisans? And it has not been easy, but everybody is okay. After a period of a lockdown back in early 2020, they are working again, very much the same way that many of us are working in the States. They are social distancing, they have masks. We have the advantage that we are a very small team working in our favor, um, but they are back at work. Really the biggest challenge is that the yarn is very time intensive to make and everything in India is moving more slowly. So getting our raw materials is trickier because of social distancing, things are just not working at that same speed. And you compound that with this international shipping crisis where it just takes us a lot longer to get yarn than it used to um, pre-2020 that's happening right now. And all of that going on means that it's just a lot harder to get our yarn, which already takes a long time to make. So if you have your heart set on a certain colorway, I wanna encourage you to order early and I'll have details on how to do that in the next video. But we are constantly trying to keep up with what you guys like the most. And it's tricky because the yarn is super difficult to make. Plus shipping has been a big challenge recently. Okay, so we're going to talk about yarns and all the winning styles and all the bonuses that you get as part of the knit along right now. So I want to start with the Express Yourself sweater, which, oh, I just, I love it so much. I will put some photos in here. My favorite part is the sleeve detail. I absolutely love the sleeve. And I want to show you the yarn for this. So this is our Serenity yarn. This is actually the yarn that is not hand spun. This is a machine made yarn. All the rest to come will be the hand spun yarns, but this is our first try at a machine made yarn. And this one is super light and fluffy. It is 80 wool, 20 nylon. It's soft, it's super lightweight. Even though it knits up on a pretty big needle, I think it's an 11 or a 13 we'll be knitting with this. It is just so, so, so much fun to knit with. And we've got a bunch of new bright colors here. So that is our Serenity yarn. It feels like a cloud when you wear it. It's very, very, very lightweight. And this style is fantastic for anyone who wants to try knitting a color work sweater for the very first time. It is knit top down. So you're gonna knit this from the top down, which is great because you can check out exactly how it's gonna fit. You can measure the body length um, and get that body length super easily to fit you perfectly. And it's a great yoke, yoke style sweater for anyone who's never knit one before. Even if you've never done a sweater before, this might be the perfect one for you to tackle. Perfect little lightweight, but still super cozy fall sweater. So this is the Express Yourself sweater. This is option number one. All right, so I wanna tell you about the Magic Mountain cardigan. This is the one I'm wearing. I wore in the video, the first video, and it is such a good one. I love this combo. The big thing we'll be learning in this style is how to steek. So if you're wondering what steeking is, Steaking is the process we use to actually cut into our knitting. So we will knit this sweater in the round from the top down. So you'll be learning all those things if you've never done them before. Color work in the round, top down. And then we will be using scissors to cut into our knitting to make this style into a cardigan. So 
super, super exciting. <laughs> and this style, as well as all the sweater styles, are available in nine sizes, large size range from, I think, 32 inch bust to around 65 to 70 inch bust for some of the styles. So large size range available so that we can accommodate hopefully all bodies. And I especially love this colorway. I think that this style is just a super easy style to wear, classic, um, classic fall cardigan. So if we go into the yarn, we're gonna switch gears. You will be using two colors of our spun cloud yarn. So I'm gonna show you that here. This is our spun cloud yarn, and this is kind of like our version of a basic yarn. <laughs> it is plied. You can see it has this lumpy, bumpy texture, and it has two strands of lurex that go around it. So one silver and one gold. So a really subtle hint of shine. I'm gonna show you a few more colors over here. This is the bodacious pink, our new um, frosty green color, I think is what it's called, or dusty green, something like that frosty green, apologies. So you will be using two different colors and you can see the one I'm wearing, it's um, the olive green and then the honeysuckle color. And then you're actually gonna need a mini skein sampler kit as the accent. So we use this here, we use this actually throughout the yoke and then um, in the middle. And our mini skein sampler kits, if you've never tried them, are the most fun because you get to try five different skeins of yarn in one shot, in one go, and it gives you this wonderful kind of like doorway into the knit collage world. So you're gonna get a mini skein of our spun cloud, our wildflower, our cotton yarn, our daisy chain that has all the little daisies spun into it, our dreamland yarn right here, which I'm gonna show you when we get to the bonus section. And then lastly, our castaway. So all of these yarns are going to come with your kit. And I just wanted to show you two new combos we have coming out. So this one is has that Sedona spun cloud color that I love. I think it's called Aurora. And then this one might be dusty greens. You can see I've been li I like the word dusty right now. <laughs> so that is that. And um, yeah, really, really excited. And this is a great one where you get to just experiment and play with color placement and do what you want with those mini skein sampler kits. So absolutely love this one and invite you to come with me on this speaking journey and le learn something new with me. Let's let's try it together. Okay, so the next one I wanna show you is the Shake Your Groove Thing Poncho. This one is fantastic for beginners. It is top down. You can sense a the trend. There, there are many top down sweaters here <laughs> and poncho. This one, we'll be learning how to knit a poncho. If you don't want to tackle a sweater, you think you want to try something else, or you just love the look of this with all the yarn max mixing, I want to encourage you to give this a go. Um, it's a simple, shape with simple increases. It's top down so you can adjust the length as you see fit. The fringe is for you to add if you want to or you don't have to. And what you get with this kit is two different mini skein sampler kits. So that's where all the fun yarn experimentation comes into play. And then one main color, which is which will be our spun cloud. So you're going to get a kit that looks like this with two mini skein sampler kits and then one main color. All right, so the next style I wanna tell you about is the Loop It Up cardigan. And I apologize, I do not have that sample with me. It is still in the works, getting tested and making sure that the pattern is completely right. It will be, um, but it's not with me right now. So I'm gonna insert some photos here. And this style is a, another simple top-down cardigan. And the fun thing about this style is that you'll, you'll be rocking that loop stitch. You'll learn how to do that loop stitch, which is a blast, and I think adds a, a very rock and roll feel to the sweater. It looks so Stevie Nicks or, I don't know, Rolling Stones. It's just so freaking cool. So it uses our spun cloud yarn, and this is the 
frosty green that I showed you, but absolutely you can do any old color. The color we photographed it is High Vibes. I would personally love to see someone do it in bodacious pink or the new, the new Joy Bomb orange or maybe even the new highlighter yellow. So this style, it's really all about that loop fringe, texture, maybe color if you feel so moved and embracing that kind of rock and roll spirit. So that's that one. All right, so I wanna show you the bonus styles now. We went through all four of the knit along main styles. You'll get a video on how to knit each one of those. These are the bonus styles. So this is the Kaleidoscope Striped Cardigan. It is a favorite around here because you really get to play with color and experiment with texture, color, all the things that are really fun, get you into that flow state. This is a lot like knitting that penguano that I talked about in the first video. This is gonna bring that out of you. There's no right way to knit it. It's whatever you want. So you get to experiment with all these colors and different yarns. The kit is gonna come with one main color of Spun Cloud, and then you're going to have two different mini skein sampler kits, just like in the poncho actually. If you felt moved, you could 100% knit a solid version of this. So we have also written the instructions for the solid version in the pattern. If you feel like, you know what, I could go with just a really simple basic cardigan, absolutely you could do that too. So much like the others, this is top-down yoke style. You get to customize the length. It's long-sleeved. It's all about the color yarn texture fun. <laughs> All right, so that's the Kaleidoscope Striped Cardi. The next bonus is the Kaleidoscope Puppy or Dog Sweater or Pet Sweater. Maybe you have a cat that wants to wear a sweater. I don't know <laughs> if cats wear sweaters, but that's going to be a little bonus for you too. So you can use leftover yarn to knit it. You could use stash. You could get yarn for it, whatever you think. You're also going to get that pattern as part of the knit along. So super excited to offer our first puppy sweater as part of this knit along. It's so stinking cute. Okay, so the next style, it's a bonus, is the Dreamy Cardi, which might be my favorite. I hope I haven't said that for every single one but it is so good. The fit is incredible, and it's really all about our Dreamland yarn. So I'm gonna show you a new colorway of our Dreamland yarn. This yarn has all the trims spun into it, all the little fun things I was telling you about earlier. Little sari silk in there, fabrics, and this is how it knits up. Oh, let me show you one more colorway. That is the Boho Dance colorway, which looks really cool knit up too. So this is a fantastic sweater if you're feeling like, I just wanna try these crazy beautiful yarns and give it a go and have a piece of wearable art. That is what this sweater will be. I wore it the other day to a doctor's appointment for my son and got so many compliments. It was just absolutely insane. And because you don't know when any of those trims are gonna come up in your knitting, it's so much fun to knit with because it's like, oh, there's a flower, oh, there's a ribbon. <laughs> it's really fun. So this is the Dreamy Cardigan. The last bonus I'm gonna share with you is a forever favorite here, and that is just the Kaleidoscope sweater. So I'm showing you one I knit as part of fall 2020 knit along. It is simple. It's all about playing with the yarn and the color, just like in the cardigan, but this is a sweater version. And you might've knit one of these already. You might be thinking, I've never knit a sweater. Would this be the right one? This would 100% be a fantastic first sweater to try if you've never knit a sweater before. You get to have fun with the yarn, which is so forgiving. If you make a mistake and decide not to go and fix it, you probably won't notice it in this yarn, but of course you can, it's totally up to you. And it's really just a blast to knit. I think I've knit over 10 at this point in my 
life. It's so, 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 so much fun. So this is the last bonus style. With this style, it's the same yarn as the Kaleidoscope Cardi. You will get a main color and then two mini skein kits to knit this up. If you wanted to do it solid, you absolutely could do it solid too. It makes for a beautiful solid sweater in our spun cloud yarn as well. Okay, so that's it for all the styles, the yarn details, how I teach. I wanna just answer a few questions I got. What if I am a true beginner? This question came up a lot. These styles seem really scary and complicated. Please do not worry, this knit along is for you. When you're a beginner, you need the most help and support you can get to push past through those mistakes or tricky techniques. And that's what you're gonna get with the community, the teachable videos, and then of course the help sessions. Um, some people ask me, will we have lifetime access to all these videos? Absolutely, you will. They are yours forever. <laughs> okay, steaking. I'm terrified of ski steaking. Like, I don't know if I can do that. You can absolutely do it. Let's do it together. And how good are we going to feel when we conquer that? We're going to do a swatch first so it all feels a little less scary and then move on to the real sweater. Okay, some people are asking, um, what if I have my own yarn? I answered this earlier. Please join us virtually. That's a great option for you. What about shipping? Shipping, we do ship everywhere. We ship internationally. It just might take a little bit longer. So keep that in mind. Okay, so in the next video, and please, by all means, let me know if you have any questions below and I will make sure to answer those right away. Next up, in the next video, I'm going to share some of the experiences of past and long participants, and I'm gonna share about our scholarship program. So I really wanna tell you all about that because we've been building on that every single season and been able to get a lot of knitters involved that haven't had the means in past seasons. So I'm excited about that. And then finally, I'm gonna just tell you about how to get, how to get involved, how to sign up and join in with me. So I want to know what style you want to knit. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to do two? Is it possible you want to do two? Is it possible you want to knit more than two? I will be knitting all four. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And I am so, so, so excited to kick off this knit along. I feel like we have learned so much from previous knit alongs and participant feedback. It really feels like this is gonna be our strongest, most supportive, encouraging one to date. So can't wait to get started. All right, let me know what you wanna knit, bye. One quick thing I forgot to mention, I have an accompanying blog post where you will find all the fit, yarn, sizing, and pricing details listed out. So I wanna encourage you to go ahead and click the link either in my bio or the link below if you're watching on YouTube and check out and peruse all the options, all the color combos, all the available color combos are gonna be there for you. And there's lots, lots and lots to peruse. It's really fun. Okay, bye.